going on everyone i am washing the house this morning and there's this building behind it there is a bunch of green algae and i thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to show you downstream injecting if you're not already using it and then a remote downstream injector absolute game changer so i hope this helps somebody make that decision of one going to downstreaming away from xjet second using a remote downstream injector whichever brain you're wanting to use absolute game changer cuts the time probably in half of an actual house wash you don't have to go back and forth to the truck and turn that knob so i hope this video helps somebody right, so like any job first things first safety got my gloves my glasses all right i'm ready to go so if you're not familiar with downstreaming this is what is called a j-rod there's different tips you got tips to reach in high to reach in low you should be able to pull soap out of the soap tips, you should be able to flow water at the water tips. A lot of them don't work like that. So the easiest way to do it, you just get a remote downstream injector, and that way you don't even have to worry about it, and you just use these for your angles. So when I started, I had the setup where you had to go to the truck every time and turn the ball valve, and it would bypass the downstream injector, and now I have a remote downstream injector. So if you're not familiar with downstreaming, this is all you have at your hand. You don't have a bucket, you don't have an X-Jet. 10 times easier, 10 times easier. And so this was my first setup. And so I would come out here, I would spray the SH on the side, and then I had to go back to the truck. I'd have to turn that ball valve, and then I had to come back to the gun. About wait 15 seconds for water to get through the system. And then I would have to go through the process of spraying everything, then going back to the truck for rinse. And literally you're walking back and forth to the truck. So this literally saves you so much time. I'm gonna show you how it works. All right, so in order to start, you press the on button. It's as simple as that. You wait about 15 seconds, you'll have SH. You can usually smell it first. All right, I have SH, I'm ready to start. All right, so that was a time lapse of me applying the SH in order to get water. All you do is hit off, and then you wait about 15 seconds. About 15, 20 seconds, you'll get water through here, and it's the same process when you rinse. All right, so I just finished rinsing and I am done with the back side of this. This is the simplest form of pressure washing, in my opinion. This is gonna be like 95% of the time. Obviously you need a stronger mix sometimes. I think you get about 1.5% uh, SH using a downstream injector, depending on your machine, your setup, but that's gonna be majority of your houses of what you're pressure washing or soft washing better yet. So. To me, this was a game changer. It's a little bit of investment up front, but when you cut your time in half, you're saving money definitely in the long run. And I don't have to keep walking back, back and forth to the truck. I literally did all the work back here. So I came back here, used my button, turned on the automatic or remote downstream injector, applied my SH, I let it dwell, I hit off, and then rinsed it off. So it's as easy as that. I hope this video helps somebody. I hope that uh, if you are using the X-Jet, this would be a uh, video to help you get away from X-Jet because I started with X-Jet and I loved it at the time until I went to this. I will never X-Jet anything else ever again except if it's a driveway or something that needs a lot of SH at one time. So anyways, I hope this video helps you. I'm going to finish knocking out this house. God bless you guys. Take care.